morning. No, this may be reaching you at night and it is a bedtime story. So, ha, huh. but it is morning here. So, uh, good morning at my end of the world and good day, whatever time it is in your side of the world. How are you today? It's a beautiful, beautiful day. You will see me extra happy when it is sunny. I love the sun. I do. You know what? So I'm grateful for the sun. I'm very grateful for the sun. I love the sun and I love the trees. I really do. I love the big humongous trees with the big trunk that uh, if I want to hug, it will be too wide for me to hug. And um, what else? You know, I love being here with you today. So that's my third thing that I am grateful for. Are you ready for our story? Our story today is called Baby Bluebird. Baby Bluebird <clears throat> looked up at the sky. She watched all the other birds flying. It's spring, she said. I should be flying also but I don't know how to start. Her friend Rabbit watched the birds too. Flying looks a lot like hopping, said Rabbit. In fact, I see birds hopping about all the time. Practice hopping with me. If you hop high enough, you might start to fly. Rabbit hopped off through the garden. Baby Bluebird hopped after her. She was in the air, but soon came down to the ground. Baby Bluebird tried again and again. What do you think, Baby Bluebird, asked Rabbit, is hopping like flying? It's a little like flying, she said, but I keep landing. I don't think real flying is so bouncy. Baby Bluebird sat down in the pasture. She watched the other birds as they hopped and lifted off the ground. Her friend Gopher watched the birds too. It seems to me, said Gopher, that flying is a lot like digging. Maybe if you practice digging with me, it will help you learn to flap your wings and fly. And digging is so much fun. Gopher popped down into his hole then he began digging through the pasture. It doesn't look much fun to me, said Baby Bird, but I'll give it a try. Baby Bird found a nice big patch of dirt. She flapped her wings on the ground trying to dig a hole, but the dirt was too hard and her feathers were too soft. All her flapping did not help Baby Bird fly but it did raise a huge cloud of dust. <coughs> Baby bird coughed and sneezed and sneezed and wheezed. Maybe digging is not like flying after all, she said. I don't think flying is so sneezy. Baby bird fluttered her wings to get the dust out of her feathers. She sat down in the grass and looked at the birds taking off. The birds hopped off the ground and then quickly flapped their wings. They flew as if the breeze gently carried them through the air. What's their secret? Baby Bluebird wondered as the birds flew over her head. I can hop, I can flap my wings, but I still can't fly. Her friend Turtle watched the birds too. Flying looks a little like swimming, he said. Maybe if you practice swimming through the water with me, it will help you learn to glide through the air when you fly. Baby Bluebird watched Turtle glide around the farm pond. That doesn't, that doesn't look so hard, she said. She plunged into the water. Oh my, it's so wet, she cried. Paddle out here to the... Paddle out here to the middle, said Turtle. Bluebird tried to paddle. She, she splashed and sp 
splutter and sputtered and glugged <laughs> baby bluebird wanted to glide like turtle, but she couldn't. Maybe swimming isn't like flying after all, she said. I don't think flying is so soggy. Baby bluebird pulled herself onto the grassy edge of the pond. She fluttered her wings to dry them. When her wings were dry, Baby Bluebird went to the farmhouse and found cat and dog curled up on the porch. Baby Bluebird sat down beside them and watched the bird flying all above her. The birds playfully swooped through the sky. As they flew, they even sang a pretty song. These birds can fly and can sing, said, Blue, said Baby Bluebird. Cat and dog watched and heard the birds too. They look happy, said cat. We sing when we are happy, said dog. Maybe singing is part of flying, said cat. If you sing loud enough and long enough, maybe you will begin to fly too. We will help you. Dog howled, cat yelled, baby bluebird tweeted, then she twittered, she cheeped and chirped, she took a deep breath and let out a squawk, but nobody started to fly. Not dog, not cat, not baby bluebird. It's no use, said baby bluebird. Singing won't make me fly. I might as well stop trying. Thank goodness, said dog. I don't have any howls left. Stop trying, said cat. You can't stop trying. If you want to fly, you must find a way. Baby Bluebird sat down on the porch steps and put her head in her wings. Suddenly, she looked up. Singing wasn't enough, and neither was hopping or flapping or gliding, she said. But I think I know what I need to do. Baby Bluebird took a running start. She hopped like rabbit. She flapped her wings like gopher. Once she was in the air, she glided like turtle and the other birds through the beautiful sky. I am flying! I am flying! Baby Bluebird swooped through the clouds. She flitted from tree to tree. Then Baby Bluebird lifted her head and like cat and dog began to sing. The end. <laughs> what a lovely story. I really enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it too? I hope you did. Okay. Now, what are you today? You are amazing. You are smart. You are kind. You are lovable. And I love you, I love you, I love you. Are you ready for our sing-along? Let's do our sing-along. <clears throat> we are in this big circle that is as big as the earth itself, maybe even bigger, with all the kids from all around the world, big and small. Let's sing together. Let your love shine on, for we are the stars in the sky. Let your love shine strong until the day we fly. Let your love on for we are the stars in the sky let your love shine strong until the day we fly thank you for being with me today and have a good night, sleep tight, sweet dreams. And please remember that I love you this much. 
and more. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.